Hey everyone, thanks for uh, tuning in to another episode of Melting Pot's Feature Artists. We are here with July's Feature Artist, Elsie from Elsie and the Vibe. Hello, thank, thank you for you. having me. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Um, did a bit of reading up on you, obviously, to prepare for the interview and I was surprised to find plenty of big names in your band and also sort of in your production team um, from the EP that you're about to release. Um, tell me a bit about working with such accomplished and talented musicians. Yeah, so I actually got really lucky. Um, the first producer that I worked with, I actually went to school with. So I went to school with him since I was three years old, yeah. Jonathan Dreyfus. There you go. And he's amazing. He's yep. a musical genius. Um, so when I first decided I wanted to record my music, I got in contact with him and he was completely aligned with like my vision and like kind of could see inside my head without me having to describe it. So I was really excited to work with him. And through him, he um, helped me to organise the band for recording. So he knew um, all the guys that were um, on the recording and um, I first went to Hot House and then after mm -hmm. I worked with them, I had like vocal nodules. Um, so I had to take a year off. Right, yeah. Um, and then um, Jonathan... He um, was like in and out of the country, so I worked with uh, Robert Upwood and I finished it with him. So. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, tell the guys of it, some of the people that you have featured in your band and on your recording. Yes. So um, my band is made up of a couple of the guys from Sasquatch, mm -hmm. so um, Olaf and Rob, and then... Um, Justin is the drummer and he plays. he's played with Lanx at the moment, I think, and he's played with Opep and then... Both who, names that are well known to Melting Pot as yes, well. Yes. Um, who else do I have on there? Dreyfus, obviously, he played, like, violin. Um, one of my friends did backing vocals. She does, like, um, a one-woman show. It's called Super Girly. Her name's Lulu. Perfect. Yeah, so there's a whole collection. I've probably forgotten some people. Certainly very <laughs> lucky by the sound of things. Yeah, I was yeah. very, very, very lucky. Like, it made it... Um, 20 times better than what I could have imagined, so. That's uh, it's good news. Mm. <laughs> um, you've recently returned home from a tour in the east coast of the US. Uh, tell us about that experience. Yeah, so um, I've been in New York for the last year and um, while I was over there I was like, why not play as many places as I can? Um, and so I played a bunch of um, indie festivals. I played one in New Jersey. Um, I played one in Pennsylvania and... I went up to Connecticut um, and then I played a few shows in New York as well. I actually played a bunch of shows in New York, um, but towards the end I played like some of the bigger venues, which was really fun. Oh, brilliant. Um, and the music was well received by the audiences over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The soul music in New York is incredible. Like yep. I learned so, 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 so much um, and I was inspired by the people around me and I got to play with um, so many musicians. So when I play, I usually play with a different like variation of the band. Oh, right. Um, so I really like that because it means I get like different influences every time and like the yeah. songs kind of take a bit of a different form. And That must be really good for writing as well because you'd, you'd pick up something new mm -hmm. as you said each time. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. it's great. Um, and speaking of like New York's soul scene, Melbourne's soul scene is, is really vibrant at the moment um, and there's a lot of stuff picking up. Um, do you think that's helped you advance with your music the way it's going at the moment? So I've been gone for the last yeah. year. So um, I'm really excited to actually like get myself back involved yeah. with that scene because I feel like also since I've been gone, there's been like a, it's kind of gotten even bigger. Like there's been it a huge growth has, yeah. in like um, especially like R&B and like there's just like a big – yeah, it's definitely on its way up. So I'm really excited to get involved in that again. Great. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure the scene will be excited to have you involved oh, you. as well. <laughs> um You've, you've been doing music for quite a while. Um, when when was a specific time that you knew that music was going to be a big part of your life? Um, so I think I think I always knew that I wanted to play music and I'd always written songs. Sure. So since I was like 13, 14, it was like something that I did um, just as like a, a sell, like a release. Like I was like, oh, I'm feeling this way, I need to write a song. Um, and then I actually never told anyone about it because I was kind of like a bit embarrassed, yep. like self-conscious. Um, and then as I got older, I like finished school and then I tried a few different university courses. Uh -huh. um, but the ones that I did weren't something that – none of them were anything that I was particularly passionate about. And like for music, I always had this like strong like passion. It was like so obvious that that's what I wanted to do. Um, mm -hmm. So – I kind of tried things and I was like, no, this is so silly. Like, why am I going down this road? I should be doing something that I know that I love. And then I kind of like built up the confidence to just dive in. 
that's what I did. And here you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here you are with plans for a debut EP coming out later this year. Yes. Um, yeah, the date keeps shifting <laughs> as it, I'm learning it all, how it always to release does. it. <laughs> it always does. Yeah. Um, so now it's August. August. Mm-hmm. It's a definite? It's a definite. It's Hopefully a definite it's a definite. August. <laughs> uh, what, can, uh, what can the fans expect from this, this EP coming out? Um, so most of it is like an upbeat, soul, very Motown-inspired um, EP. Um, like lots of like backing vocals. I've got Excellent. a choir on one of my songs, yep. which I love. I've released that one actually. It's called Riverside. Um, nice. And then I've got a ballad which I'm going to play today, like a slower song. Sure. Um, but... Yeah, it's like very honest lyrics, like just kind of – it's very reflective of where I was when I recorded it. So I started like four years ago. So that were just the mm-hmm. songs that um, me- meant the most to me at that time. Um, yeah. What are, some of the, what are some of the influences, some of the artists that might, um, mm. that might uh, draw people in, I suppose, that, that it might sound like? So in terms of like old school artists, I'm super inspired by like Stevie Wonder and Gladys Knight and the Pips. And the Supremes. Um, I love like female singers with big voices. So yeah, Etta James, when I found her, I was like, "This is amazing." <laughs> um, Alicia Keys and Lauren Hill. I grew up listening to yep. them. Um, so it's kind of like an amalgamation of all those artists. Yeah, I think there's a lot of that sort of going on in the soul scene at yeah. the moment. There's <laughs> yeah. that. There's that real old school production, and then there's a lot of the modern influence mm-hmm. coming out in the vocal and and sort of the arrangement, which is mm. which is quite cool. I, I like. I certainly in, am enjoying the new sort of face of soul i guess that's yeah, coming out me too now. it's yeah. exciting <laughs> um speaking of that song what are you going to play for us today yeah so i'm going to play naked which actually i just released um and that is like my slower more stripped back song on sure. the recording it's just like a string quartet and piano mm-hmm. um so it's just going to be me today it's just the piano okay um yeah it's about it's actually about when i first started showing my songs to other people and how that made me feel very like vulnerable and um but it's something that I wanted to do, so I just kind of found the strength in that vulnerability and my song is about that journey. Excellent. Yeah. Well, um, let's jump straight into it. Yeah, let's is do it. Elsie and the Vibes Naked? Naked. <laughs> 